Hi, in this video we want to talk about numbers. So we want today to talk about three special cases of numbers. Let's create a table here in order to play with. So we have some numbers like 1 and 2 and so on. But we want for this column to have a product ID with leading zeros. We don't want one. We want zero, 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 seven times or nine times to have a zero and after that the number. If the number increases, uh, less zero will be um, there. So the total will be uh, the same numbers of characters. Let's see. We go to format cells, right click on the cells we want. Let's. Uh, let's increase the playground so now let's select the column let's right click format cells and from here we choose leading zeros for example we want eight uh, eight characters from uh, right to left so we will be like that seven zeros and one let's press ok let's increase by one and now let's copy down there. So you can see here in the first case I have seven zeros and number one and here I have six zeros and number one and two for 12. So everything looks very nice from top to bottom. If I have a big number like that, you can see on the left everything is well aligned and everything looks beautiful. Now let's talk about how to insert negative numbers and how to format them. One way is very simple with minus, minus 2000 or parentheses, 2000 and close the parentheses. We will come back later to talk about another possibilities. And let's talk now about text. Um, if we insert some text, it's very easy. The text will be, of course, text. But if we insert, uh, if we format these cells as text, let's uh, format everything here for this column to be text. So now even if we type some number like 52, the number will be left aligned. This means this is not a number, this is a text. So everything is left aligned left align means text so let's create a sum for that two numbers above so we have no sum because we don't have any number let's format them as number now not to be a text anymore so we want them to be number but if we click here we we see we have an apostrophe, we have to remove it. Now the text became a, a number. Let's remove here for 100. And now we have a number. And now we can recalculate this uh, formula again in order to make the sum of these two numbers. So equal sum from here to here. Enter and everything is okay now. let's select again let's make them text okay so again they are text in spite of us seeing them as number they are text now let's play again with uh, these uh, numbers let's play with these product ids so if we don't want f um, eight characters eight leading zeros we can choose for example of three or four okay so let's remove it here to have just four you can see everything again it's well aligned let's change here to 199 and 200 okay everything looks good now we can change the negative number to be different how let's see here we can have negative numbers to be read so everything is negative 
is red and what is positive is black. Let's see some examples, but first let's format everything with this rule. So let's enter 2000 positive, everything is black, 1500 negative is red. So everything is negative is red and everything is positive is black. Let's uh, play with this text. Let's mark it as number. Let's write something. And here, let's see its text. If I write, it's a line, left a line. So it's clear its text. If I insert here an apostrophe before this number, this number will become text. Okay, so very easy to transform something in text or any text any number as text to real number in order to make some and some calculation. Thanks for watching. This is version 7013 LibreOffice community. Thank you and please subscribe.